I am a volunteer for Volunteers in Medicine, first and foremost, also a donor. I am an optometrist. I have um, been one for over 20 years. She's a giver. She's always gonna give more than she takes. She's always gonna do it in her quiet and unassuming way. She doesn't want any notoriety. She doesn't care for any notoriety. What she really cares for is, is making an impact and applying, in this case, her, her area of expertise to the benefit of others. I was a clinical instructor um, in Boston at the optometry school. That was where I first actually had the opportunity to um, see a lot of um, patients who had barriers to care. Um, I ran a mobile eye unit with um, all the students where we would go out and see um, homebound elderly, um, homeless shelter veterans, um, adult daycare center, all these people that couldn't get to an eye exam. You know, she involved herself in mobile eye units going into underserved communities in the Boston area as she was studying. And consistently through graduate school and through her, uh, through her, her work in optometry, that has always been a big part of, of how she's applied herself. And certainly Volunteers in Medicine is at the forefront of that here in Jacksonville. To see someone when they get a new pair of glasses and can see well again, the excitement is, you know, so obvious. Um, on their faces, so it's, it's a real pleasure to be able to provide that service. The working uninsured are an interesting group to work with. They are um, low-income people who are holding jobs who cannot afford health insurance. So if you think about some of the jobs that they fulfill for the community, it's bus drivers and security guards and warehouse workers and uh, bookkeepers, you know, all these people that are really fulfilling um, important um, obligations for our community. And um, vision care is actually extremely important to them. Um, if you think about a bus driver, for example, you know, that person having a good eyeglass prescription and seeing well is important to all of us. Chocolate. <laughs> I guess that's everybody's guilty pleasure. See, there's always a healthy dose of Girardelli's in our house. Oh, yeah. But I steal those, so <laughs> that's my guilty pleasure. <laughs> I collected beer cans as a child. <laughs> and that is a really random thing, and I don't think anyone knows that about me except for my dad. <laughs> I used to go to his races with him. He was an amateur race car driver. And um, when he wasn't racing cars and we were just hanging out at the camper at the racetrack, I was usually in the garbage cans, picking out old beer cans that um, I thought were unique. <laughs> That's what I was doing as an eight-year-old girl. <laughs> I would say that Susan is certainly the greatest gift in my life. She has this selfless way of living her life, whether it's as a mother or whether it's as a leader in the community. She's quiet uh, and she's reserved, but underneath it all, she's one of the most dynamic people you'll ever meet in your life. And she never ceases to amaze me. Volunteers in Medicine, by the way, is pretty unique in that they are a multidisciplinary clinic and they are bringing in all of these um, additional specialties so that they can provide those services that are even um, beyond what people with insurance are actually able to uh, access.